Hello, this is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. Many newer homes are like giant pressure cookers with poisonous gases being released from the home's engineered wood products. Many years ago, we used to build homes from board lumber that came from 100-year-old trees. We used up most of the 100-year-old trees, so then we started to cut down and peel like an onion the 40-60-year-old to 60 year old trees to make layered and glued laminated plywood. Plywood was and still is expensive, so now we clear-cut 10 to 20-year-old forests and chop up these young trees into little wood chunks. We add some phenol formaldehyde, a little bit of glue, and we put this wood stew into a big pressure cooker for about an hour, and presto, we get OSB-oriented strand board. If we pressure cook this OSB wood stew for an extra hour or two, shazam, we get hardboard. You probably have seen some of the earlier brands of hardboard. They're still rotting on our 20 to 30 year old garages. OSB or hardboard manufacturing will produce some wood waste and wood chunks that are too small. So we cut down a couple more young 10 year old trees and we grind everything up into some fine sawdust. We add more glue, more phenyl formaldehyde, and finally we now add a splash of nitrogen. This nitrogen is also known as urea formaldehyde, which our dairy farmers call cow urine. We put the sawdust and cow urine into a supercharged pressure cooker for a couple hours and blavissimo, we have particle board press wood and sheet paneling. The mold people call these engineered products mold food. The building science professionals call these engineered wood products was wood. We make our furniture, bathroom vanities, kitchen cabinets, all out of this was wood product. Most of the homes built in the last 20 plus years have OSB oriented strand board, hardboard, particle board, press wood, and paneling wood. Our walls, floors, roofs, closets, underlayment, structural laminated micro lamb, beams, TGIs, engineered joists, countertops, office cabinets, kitchen cabinets, all are made of this engineered, chemically added, pressure cooked wood. These engineered wood products outgas toxic fumes. In newer homes, many of us breathe these toxic outgassing fumes and do not notice because the home may have many air leaks, or we have asthma or congested, or maybe we just are never home long enough to experience the effect. These people are not crazy. They are very intelligent, educated people who live in very expensive homes. These problems are real. According to the material safety data sheets, many of these chemicals outgas when heated or become moist from water or water vapor. The decomposition or aging of these chemicals and cow urine products produces irritating toxic fumes that may include but not limited to carbon monoxide, hydrogen cyanide, organic acids, and polynuclear byproducts. These toxic fumes can cause irritation, burning sensations in our eyes, nose, and throat, nasal dryness, coughing, wheezing, sneezing. Additionally, these toxic fumes can cause sinus infections, prolonged colds, respiratory disorders, and asthma. To make things even worse, these chemicals and formaldehydes are listed by the International Agency of Research on Cancer as human carcinogens. The three main transportation vehicles which move these toxic fumes from out of our walls are heat, moisture, and negative pressure. Many newer homes have no protection from wind, rain, or sun. Many of these homes have brick, natural stone, cultured stone, or synthetic stucco without the proper weep holes, rain screens, or air vents. These siding products are very porous and act like sponges, sucking in the wind-driven rainwater, becoming large moisture storage capacitors that hold hundreds of gallons of rainwater. The next day, the sun comes out and heats up the saturated siding, causing vaporization, or what building scientists call solar-driven vapor diffusion, pushing moist air through the exterior walls and into the center of the wall where the OSB particle board hardboard paneling and glues exist. When these inner wall products get wet, moist, or humid, these products outgas poisonous fumes. The sun 
also adds heat to the building products, causing even more outgassing of poisonous fumes. Finally, I can't remember the last time I saw an HVAC contractor install metal sealed ducts in walls for the return air system. The return air system is a ductwork that brings air back to the furnace. In the old days, they used metal ducts and sealed them with furnace tape. Today, most new homes have returned ductwork installed inside wood joist and stud wall cavities. Now, we have this great new word called interstitial depressurization. Our inner walls are being sucked by the cold air returns. This is also where the moist wood is outgassing poisonous fumes. Now, we are sucking poisonous fumes at light speed. There you have it, the American dream, the house in the country that has become a pressure cooker, and you're the vegetable inside it. So what do we do? We need to build the exterior facades a drain. We need weep poles, air vents, flashing, and properly installed drainage planes or Tyvek. Secondly, we need to use products that are green and are not full of toxic chemicals. Finally, we need to install a properly designed and balanced HVAC system that has ducted, sealed, cold air returns. This is Marco Volk from www.houseinvestigations.com. Please visit my website for more great information on your home. Mm -hmm.